If you've just recently started using high-level CRM or you're thinking about using it, you're probably feeling a little bit confused. Hi, I'm Allie Bloyd and I'm a local marketing expert. And I've been using High Level for myself and my clients for a very long time. And I'm here to help you understand if this program is the best fit for you and your business by giving you a high level overview of the system. So you can see if this can easily integrate into your existing systems or replace the systems that you're using. I promise if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to get off on the right foot with your high-level account to save you time, to save you money, and help improve your results. Here we go. What you're seeing right now is the high-level CRM dashboard. This dashboard is gonna give you an idea of exactly where you are in your different pipelines, how many leads you have at the different stages, what tasks have been assigned to you, and a few additional options. This is all gonna be based on your pipeline once you start leads coming in the system. To the left, we have something called the conversations tab. The conversations tab is going to be a mixture of email responses, text message responses, and Facebook messenger responses. You're also going to be able to see inbound phone calls in that section. And it's a really great way to consolidate what your leads or prospects are saying to you. This is also ideal to be able to dig in and say, what are the most frequently asked questions that my leads or prospects need to know before buying? You can also get a good idea of how many touch points it's taking for someone to actually become a lead to a client. So whenever you see people in the unread section, you are going to mark them as read. So ultimately, when you have anything like text message marketing, they're going to be able to unsubscribe using the word stop. That's only going to apply to their text message subscription. They can still unsubscribe from email, but that's a totally separate thing. If you are using the conversations, if you are using text message marketing, you are going to get people that say stop. You're going to get people that say unsubscribe, and that's okay. The most important thing is that you're reaching out to your list, you're delivering value, and you're building an audience who wants to hear from you. I know too many people that get very stressed out when people are unsubscribing from their text message marketing, but you have to understand it's just part of the game. Our opportunities pipeline. This is something that you're going to be able to see all of your leads, all of your sales, all of the different people that are in these different stages based on your specific sales process. You can very easily click on them, see their additional details. You can call them. You can see their text messages or email responses, and you can also mark them as one lost or abandoned. The marketing tab has got several different things inside of it. So the campaigns, this is anything from an automated campaign to a blast campaign to your entire list, or maybe to a segment of that list. I've got my campaigns primarily in folders at this point, and I would highly encourage you to do that. It's a really great way to keep things organized and allow you to duplicate past campaigns that have worked well so that you can use them moving forward. Bulk request. This is essentially where you're going to be sending your blast campaigns. Blast campaigns are essentially going to be based on two different things. One, the type of lead. As you can see under contact type, we have all leads. And then I have a few that are just to clients, but ultimately I typically am communicating with them in a different place. Then you also can select tags. So this is why tagging those leads is an important thing because it gives you a very easy ability to send out specific campaigns to those people using those specific tags. Trigger links. These are going to be links that you want to track what happens when someone clicks them. You also can say, if somebody clicks this link, I'm going to have this other thing happen. So it's a part of our triggers and automations that we'll talk about briefly. We have a form builder and a form builder is exactly what it sounds like. You are building forms that can either be used in your calendars, they can be used in your funnels, and they can just be sent completely independently. 
We also have a survey builder. Surveys are similar to forms, but they do have different options. Most of you guys understand what a survey is, but it's got that capability, which is really nice. We also have SMS and email templates. These templates are able to be used by anyone who's doing lead follow-up and sales. They can very easily select these templates, then edit them as they see fit and send them out to a lead or prospect. They won't have to spend the time copying and pasting from somewhere else or having to rewrite the same exact email over and over again. We also have the HTML builder, which is used for email marketing. You can create specific HTML email templates so that your emails will be a bit more polished. Ultimately, you do not need overly designed emails in order to make this work. Really, what I like to do is just have a container essentially, and then have a nice header and a nice footer. Outside of that, you really don't need to go crazy with that HTML email builder. We also have reporting. So reporting is going to show call reporting. Call reporting is going to show your answered calls, your missed calls, your first time calls, average call duration. And you can also look at certain date ranges. So if you have someone doing sales, this is going to cover a lot of different calls. So this far we have 1,839 calls from the system. In the last two months, there was a total of 2,100 calls. And then you also can see these specific calls below and you can also play those recordings. This is very, very important for training purposes. It's also very important for people who want to see what their salespeople are saying what's being done to close these sales and gives you the opportunity to really verify that leads are being followed up with. This is a very, very important piece to me and to my clients because you can't unfortunately always take people at their word. So I love the call reporting. I love to be able to listen to those calls and consistently try and improve the conversations that are being had. We also have scheduling. So this is an example of our calendar. These are all the scheduled calls that we have for the week from our advertising, and we can see them very clearly. If we were to click on one of them, the contact information would come up. We would be able to see the notes if they'd had a past appointment, and we'd be able to add additional pieces of information to that lead. If we click on the appointments tab, we're going to be able to see all of these different people that have scheduled appointments and we can scroll down and see lots of different leads that have scheduled. We also can sort it by the date that they're added or that start date. So you can have them auto confirmed, but if someone needs to reschedule, you can click reschedule and then you can simply update that day and time. This is going to allow you to be able to keep that person in their appointment reminders campaigns, as opposed to just adding a new spot on the calendar and then not receive any type of appointment reminder. This is really important for salespeople. Opportunities pipeline, conversations tab, and the scheduling tab are the three most important tabs for any salesperson or someone handling lead follow-up to really be concerned with. Reputation, this is gonna manage your online reviews. Those would have to be connected through integrations, but things like your Google My Business reviews or your Facebook reviews. We also have contacts. Contacts is really exactly what it sounds, your contacts in the system. Not every contact is going to be in your opportunities pipeline. This is a great way to sort people, to tag people, and then be able to send them customized communications. We also have funnels and websites. So funnels and websites is something that was added not too terribly long ago. They did have funnels and then they added websites and then they added memberships. So websites is exactly what it sounds. You can build your entire website through high level. You also can set up a membership site. Your funnels are a series of landing pages designed to drive a lead to take one specific action, such as opting in for a lead magnet or scheduling an appointment. The great thing about this is that you can actually import your funnels from ClickFunnels. 
This is an example of something that we imported just the other day. This is a landing page that I already have set up in ClickFunnels, but I wanted to test the speed compared to high level. So I set it up on a separate domain and I just pulled these funnels in. There's only a handful of changes that you would have to make to get those funnels to function perfectly. So if you are already using ClickFunnels, this can be a great alternative. And ultimately you can save money because now this $97 product is going to be able to take care of your funnels, your automations, your CRM, your email marketing, your text message marketing, and everything in between. This is something that is very important for everyone to have set up. However, it's really easy to share funnels between existing accounts. So if you do know someone who's already working with high level, you can get their funnels shared to your account or you can share your funnels to someone else's account, making it a really great place to collaborate. Next, we have triggers. Triggers are automations. I try and separate these in folders as well. We still need to clean up a few of them as folders was a newer feature. That's one thing I really love about High Level is that they are always updating the features that their users are asking for. So it's really great in terms of development. Of course, there are gonna be some bugs. Of course, there are gonna be some glitches. That is natural. That happens with virtually every program. And as somebody who has used virtually every program out there, I can say that by far high level is my favorite. I've used Active Campaign, I've used Infusionsoft, I've used MailChimp, I've used lots of different CRMs. And this program and its all-in-one nature is really the cream of the crop in terms of what I would recommend to anyone in the local business side or the agency side. These triggers are fairly simple. You can simply create a trigger. We'll call this one test. And you're ultimately saying, what is that starting trigger going to be? Is it gonna happen when someone schedules an appointment? What would we like to happen when someone schedules an appointment? Well, we probably want to add them to appointment reminders campaign. So I'm gonna be able to go through and say, appointment reminders right here. And I could save this if I wanted this to be active, which I don't need to do. I already have these triggers set up. I would go from draft to activate. Now, any person who schedules in my high level calendar is automatically going to receive the appointment reminders campaign. Ultimately, online listings is something that is similar. We would need to connect our Google My Business page in order to take advantage of this. This is something that doesn't matter terribly much for my own business, but it's something I do encourage our local business clients to use. And then finally, we have settings. These settings are very important in terms of getting them set up correctly, but we're not going to be able to go through all of these in this video. Stay tuned for another video coming out on all of the different high-level settings and what you need to consider for each. Like I mentioned, when you first started watching this video, I'm going to share with you the easiest way to get started with high level. High level snapshots are something that you can create, and it's essentially a copy of an entire account. We have put these snapshots together for my clients, for my students, and this is something that saves an incredible amount of time when developing your high-level account. This comes with your calendars set up, your pipeline set up, all of the campaigns that you need, all of the triggers that you need, all of the funnels that you need. Essentially, it is a complete package and all you need to do is go in and edit that. If you're interested in checking out our high-level snapshots or speaking with us about how we can help your local business or your marketing agency, we'd love to speak with you. Take a look at some of our additional videos on high level, and I hope you enjoy them.